the Belarusian regime allowed Russia to use its territory and airspace to launch missiles and drone strikes against Ukraine, and also participated in training and logistical support of the Russian military. All this has been a reason for implementing economical sanctions. A new package of sanctions against Belarus for facilitating Russia's invasion of Ukraine was announced by the UK on June 8th. This new package ratchets up the economic pressure on Lukashenko and his regime, which actively facilitates the Russian war effort and ignores Ukraine's territorial integrity. Our support for Ukraine will remain resolute for as long as it takes, and the UK will not hesitate to introduce further measures against those who prop up Putin's war. James Cleverly, UK Foreign Secretary, from a statement on the official website. The new package is based on already existing sanctions against Belarus. It includes a ban on imports of gold, cement, timber and rubber, as well as blocking exports of banknotes and machines to Belarus from the UK, as well as goods, technology and materials that can be used for production of chemical and biological weapons. The UK has also broadened the criteria for applying sanctions. This will allow restrictions to be imposed on a wider range of individuals who support the Lukashenko's regime. That includes sanctioning more than 100 people and organizations, such as freezing the assets of major Belarusian state-owned enterprises, which are significant sources of revenue and foreign currency for the Lukashenko regime. From a statement on the official website of the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office. The UK stated that it would also prevent Belarusian media companies from spreading propaganda. Internet providers will restrict access to the websites of Belarusian media that are under sanctions. Poland completes building defense on its border with Belarus and imposes restrictive measures against Moscow and Minsk to steam the flow of illegal migrants. And it imposes sanctions restricting and even banning border crossing. In addition, Poland has imposed sanctions against Belarusian MPs, businessmen, officials and athletes who have been linked to the Russian Federation in one way or another. In total, more than 300 people from Alexander Lukashenko's entourage fell under the restrictions. Minister of Internal Affairs and Administration Mariusz Kaminski decided to list 365 Belarusian citizens whose stay on Polish territory is undesirable. These people will also be banned from entering the Schengen area, from the statement on the website of the Polish Ministry of the Interior. In March 2023, the U.S. Treasury Department expanded sanctions against Belarus. They affected the heads of two automobile plants and members of the Central Electoral Commission of Belarus. The authoritarian Lukashenko regime relies on state-owned enterprises and key officials to generate substantial revenue that enables oppressive acts against the Belarusian people. We remain committed to imposing costs on the Lukashenko regime for its suppression of democracy and support for Putin's war of choice. Brian Nelson, under the Secretary of the Treasury for Terrorism and Financial Intelligence from a statement on the US Treasury Department website. Western sanctions seriously weakened the Lukashenko's regime, says the Belarusian opposition, because they significantly reduced the financial flows of the elite close to the self-proclaimed president, and this in turn reduces their ability to support war and repression. What exactly do these sanctions do? First and foremost, they close the loopholes left by previous sanctions packages. Lukashenko's and Putin's regimes are mafia regimes. They are constantly adjusting to the new reality and looking for loopholes. They are looking for ways to circumvent the sanctions. When it is necessary to sell goods to the EU, they change the code or make it out as Armenian or Kazakh. And now these new packages that are being introduced close these loopholes. And it hits not only Lukashenko, but it also heavily hits Putin. The new sanctions from the UK are precedent-setting and important, says Franak Vichorka, and this should encourage Brussels to act more decisively. Natalia Husak, Anastasia Tarnavska, UATV News.